Hello handheld gamers. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install Lutris on your Steam Deck and then I'm going to show you how to install the Amazon Games Launcher on Steam Deck. So first you need to click on the Steam button in gaming mode go down to shutdown and then switch to desktop view and from there you want to click on the little menu icon at the bottom left the Steam icon and go up to uh, Discoverer and there, in search, you want to type in Lutris and search for it, and you'll see Lutris is displayed on the top right. So you'll click install at that point and just follow the, the instructions on how to install it. It's very easy. Um, it's flat pack, so it installs fine in Steam Deck. Once you've got that installed, that's the easy bit. Once you've got that installed, you want to double click it and run it. You may have to add it to your desktop. And once it's up and running, you will need to add the Amazon Prime games to the sources list. So at the moment, it will come by default with GOG, Epic, Origin, Ubisoft, and Steam, and it won't have Prime. What I've seen most people doing, and this is what I did as well the first time, is that you click on the plus icon up here and search Lutris website for installers. You can install it from there if you type in um, Amazon. However, that doesn't work. So what will happen is it'll happily install and it'll load up. And then what most people are finding, and this is exactly what I found as well, is it will disconnect after about 30 seconds to a minute, just you know, cease to run the app any longer, just end tasks for no apparent reason. And it does appear to work, but then just stops. What you need to do is you need to click on the little burger button up here and go down to preferences and then go across to sources and turn on the Amazon Prime Gaming option because that will be turned off when you first install Lutris. So you can turn that on and then over on the left side here you will have on your Amazon Prime at the moment I've already connected mine but you will have a little icon like that little little person and you'll need to connect so you click on that it'll open up another window and you can log in with your Amazon Prime settings and then it will tie that in. And as you can see here, here's all my Prime games here on the, on the right hand side. And so I can go through any of these games and I can install them. What I have found is it's quite slow. Let's just try that, see what happens. Just so you can see. So there you go, a pop-up window saying you want to install this game. So I'll click install. And it'll ask if I want to create a shortcut. So I'm going to create a Steam shortcut so that that works in Steam. And I'll click install. And you'll get this pop-up chain. You're happy to do all that stuff. So click continue. And it'll go away and start bringing files down. And it'll seem quite fast to start with. But it will kind of grind to halt. You just have to be patient. Let it download. Once it's downloaded, it'll come back saying the game's installed successfully. And it should work. Uh, you may have peculiarities with the game controller. What I have read online is some people have had to go into the preferences again. So if you go to preferences again, so you might find that the game loads, but you'll have no controller input. So most of what I've seen online is uh, people have said, um, I think it's global options, go in there and disable the Lutris runtime. So by default, it's... Uh, ticked on so that's enabled I'm guessing so you would need to disable it and your Steam controller should then work um, in controller mode so thanks for watching uh, again if you like what I do please like share and subscribe very much appreciate all the help I get thank you